In this video, I will show you how to find your courses using the course selector, communicate with your students in any of your courses using the email system, and set up your course once your gradable items like assignments, quizzes, and discussion boards are already in it. Let's start at the top of the screen. Up at the top where we have the Stony Brook logo, if you click over to this waffle, you will see where you can select any one of your courses. So I'm going to click on Tara's Sandbox. To communicate with your students, click on the envelope and then email to access the email system within Brightspace. Under your name, you have the ability to view your course as a student. We'll take a look at that a little bit later, but I wanted you to know that it's there. Now let's create the table of contents or course navigation for students to navigate your course. If we go back to the course homepage, we will be building out this table of contents, this visual TOC. And under content, the table of contents will be listed under here. We will build out those modules. I want you to know that there's a couple of assignments in this course. There's a discussion board and a quiz. And what we're going to do in a tool called Course Builder is build out the table of contents so you see it down here and so you see it as a visual table of contents here. The table of contents is how your students navigate through your course in Brightspace. To get to Course Builder, go to Course Tools and then Course Admin. Click on Course Builder and then click Start. Here is the course and it says you can drag a module here to start building your course. You have the ability to build an outline, add content, and browse the tools for the files and course assignments that you previously put into Brightspace. So the first thing I'm going to do is build out some weekly modules, which are similar to folders you may have created in Blackboard. I can drag a module, which is like a folder, into the course. I'm going to give it a name. I can add notes for my students to see, and I can add start and end dates. Right now, I'm just going to click on create. Next, I'm going to build another module. Call this one week two. And then click on create. And lastly, I'm going to add a folder for my syllabus. Okay, now I'm going to put content into these folders. First off, I want my syllabus up on top, so I can just drag and drop it. And now my syllabus is up on top. If I click on content, you can see that I've been building my modules and the syllabus is indeed on top. Going back to Course Builder. I'm going to add content into these folders. Click on Syllabus, and then over here I can upload files. Here's the file I want to upload, and then click Open and Upload. Next, I'm going to add a discussion board, a quiz, and my assignment. So I'll add the assignment to week one. Here's my assignment. I can check off this box, add to course, and select where I want to put it. Next, I'm going to add some content to week two. I'm going to add the discussion board. And I'm going to add the quiz. Now, I decided later on that maybe I want the discussion board in week one. 
I'm going to click and drag the discussion board. I can put it on top of the essay or below the essay. I'll put it on top. And that's how easy it is to use Course Builder where you can drag and drop. Now for week two, I can see here it says published. Each one of the modules say published right now and that means that it is available to students. If I don't want it available to students just yet, I can make it a draft. So now this week two module is a draft. If I click on Course Home, I can see that I've built the visual table of contents, the syllabus, the week one, the week two, and each one has something inside of it. So this one has one topic, this has two topics, and this one has one topic. If I click on content, I can see that in a linear format, syllabus, week one, and week two. But let's see what the student view looks like. The student view for week two should be hidden. So now you'll see that week two is definitely hidden and if we click on content, we'll see that week two is definitely hidden. To get out of student view, click on your name and X out of that student view. And then if you want to make week two available, you can click on content. There's many ways to do it, but you can click on content, week two, and then change the I with the slash through it to visible. And now if we go back to the student view, you'll see that it is indeed available to students. And if I click on content, it is indeed available to students. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial on setting up your course in Brightspace.